right guys, I think this is our spot. First things first, I need two good trees. Yeah. Uh, well, it took a while, but I finally got my Japanese knife fixed. Got the tip repaired. Uh, it's a wonderful knife. Shark skin handle. Got it as a gift from a friend in Japan.
We got to take a little break. We got a cold foot emergency. This one's still cold? Yeah. Okay. Oh. They feel it warm now? Yeah. Try putting your boot back on. See if it's warm. Okay? Okay. How's that? Are your toes feeling warm? Yeah. Good. Hey, take it out, Dink. I made a bed. Well, I got the bed made. I'm really happy with it, but I think I need to make some adjustments to my design. I'm running out of time. I need to get this done a lot quicker. Over here, bud. We've got another cold foot emergency. Are your feet cold? <laughs> you want to see my secret to warming up feet? Tickle, 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 tickle. You feeling better, bud? Yeah, I think I should always stay next to the fire. <sighs> Got a lot of wood that's covered in ice and snow. So what we're going to do is we're going to lean it against here and let it dry out. Oh, it feels good to sit down. I am exhausted. I was just working as fast as I could try to get this done before the sunset. We barely made it. Looks like Jacob's tuckered out too because he's falling asleep on his caribou hide. Good for him. He needs his rest. Well, let me show you this cot I made. It's pretty cool. It's just basically a tarp that's wrapped twice around two logs. And down inside here, I've got my air mattress. That log is lashed to the tree. And this log is just resting on this diagonal member. Because it's angled out this way, the more the log is pushed down this way, the more it's pushed out this way. And that meets resistance against the tarp. And the tarp prevents that. So that's how it keeps it off the ground. All you need is to lash that and lash that and you're done. If you don't want to use trees, you can lash together two tripods and run all three of your cross members in between the two tripods. The nice thing about this is you don't need a lot of paracord. Maybe 15, 20 feet of paracord is plenty to make all of these lashings. All right, let's go check the temperature outside. Looks like it's about 17 degrees out here. Let's take this inside and 
see what the difference is. We're gonna put this right up here by the bed. Check it out, it's about 43 degrees here in the shelter. So that means it's about 26 degrees warmer in the shelter versus outside. So that's really a big difference. Down here underneath the cot, it's about 38 degrees. So almost 10 degrees cooler. Getting yourself off the ground even a few inches makes a huge difference. You get a lot more of the heat from the fire and you don't have to sleep on the ice and the frozen ground. All right, I better get some dinner ready for Jacob here. A little bit of butter and garlic paste in here. We're gonna try to melt this butter without melting my Tupperware. Got some king crab claws there. They're all pre-cooked, so all you gotta do is warm them up on the fire. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. Jake, 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 Jake. Wake up, Jake. Jake. Jacob, wake up. Wake up. Hey, Jake, wake up. We got dinner. Jacob, wake up. Wake up, Jacob, wake up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. That is a chunk of meat right there. Mmm. buddy you want some steak you know it's a good steak when you don't need to cut it up you can just bite into it like an apple mm. look at that it's a huge isn't it how big oh they get like bigger than this i love how the little thumb meat out of a king crab is bigger than most lumps out of blue crab look at that you know that's a big chunk of meat you want it you want to bite no uh -huh. Oh, so, so greasy. I love it. That tastes like brains. <laughs> that tastes like brains? I mean, that's so cute. That warm you up? Yeah. <laughs> hey Jacob, do you want to roast marshmallows? Yeah, yeah. All right, I got a marshmallow stick. Dun, 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 dun. There's your stick. You got it? Is it all for the fire or what? Is that marshmallow good? Yeah. You tired? You want to get into bed? No, no, no. The uh -huh. story is the biggest. You got, oh, you got to tell me more story. Okay. Back in the ocean and the guys went back. Yeah, you want a body warmer? Okay. These are the adhesive body warmers. They're absolutely wonderful. Stick these to your undergarments. When you go inside your sleeping bag, you'll be warm all night. Oh. Get in there. Hey, Jake, are you warm? Yeah. Here. There's your blankie. Scoot over, buddy. Make room for dad. All right, bud, you wanna watch a movie together? All right, now they got Jacob down. I need to get even more firewood. It's gonna take a bit. about a quarter 11 and Jake's sound asleep in my bed and uh, I kind of need that bed myself. I was going to make a bed for Jake but we kind of ran out of time so I'm going to improvise something. Oh, 
okay, yeah. hold on, hold on, it's okay, it's okay, bud. It's okay. I should be pretty comfy and he can't roll out. Sitting here drying my socks off, I can hear three owls having a hoot off. Yeah. Yeah, they're going bonkers. We weren't supposed to get any snow last night, but it's 7 a.m. and uh, there's a fair amount of snow here. Look at this. Look at Jay Spag. Ah, uh, warm, thick slab bacon on a cold morning. It's not too bad. Well, it's about 9.30 in the morning and we're just watching the sun slowly come up. We're just kind of packing up and eating breakfast, taking it easy. Now we got the place cleaned up a little bit. Let's get Jacob out of here. All right. Hold on. Well guys, we got about an inch and a half of snow last night and the shelter held up really well. I slept better last night than I have in a long time. It was really comfortable on that cot. But I've got so many plans for this shelter that I didn't get chances to do. Uh, so definitely click subscribe because we're gonna be coming back here and uh, working on this project some more. So if you wanna see that, make sure to click subscribe and activate that notification button. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to join us next Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.